Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Nisa and please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and the bell. Everything I have linked to be linked to down below in the description and let's get right into the video. So right now, all I'm doing is applying my 876 nose coffin tips with some KDS glue. This video is a part of a Easter collaboration and um, it was by Isms by Josie. So thank you to Isms by Josie for allowing me to be in her collab. Um, if you guys don't know who Isms by Josie is, I don't know how, but um, I will leave her link as well as everybody's links um, that join the collaborations in the description. More on the collaboration a little bit later on. So right now, all I'm doing is applying um, the Bomb Nails Gel Polish. Curing it for 30 seconds because that's all it requires in my lamp. And then after that, I will apply a second coat. Then I will top coat it and cure that for a full 60 seconds. Oh, right now, all I'm doing is using Soft Touch by Valentino, Clear by Not Polish, and Naomi Nude from 876 Nails. All I'm doing right now is adding a thin clear base layer to all of my natural nails. Then I'll proceed with the rest of my design. So it is called Kinder Easter Collaboration or Collab. And that was the prompt. It was easter kinder if you guys want a little kinder eggs they're like chocolate and they were banned in the u.s for a very long time because people didn't think their kids could figure out to not eat the toy but that's a long story so i did the yellow to represent the little toy on the inside of the little kinder egg I'll, i might pull up a picture of the little egg to show you guys but yes so right now all i'm doing is my pinky with soft touch um which is an off-white you're gonna see why in a little while because as you can see by the thumbnail there is some airbrush going on because y'all i cannot draw like i cannot draw at all and i wanted to involve like a chocolatey color and try to you know get very creative so it's very springy, very Easter-like, and very chocolate-like. So that's what I was going for. On the yellow fingers, I will be doing an ombre. Same thing for my thumb, but my thumb will be with soft touch. And the Naomi nude. And I'm pretty sure my middle finger is also just soft touch. And I only encapsulated my ombre nails. So to learn more about what the Easter collab is... I will leave Isms by Josie's video linked in the cards as well as linked in the description. Um, so there will be seven videos up starting um, last Sunday all the way till Easter. Isms by Josie's video was first. Mine is on Tuesday. And then there will be videos every single day. So from Sunday to Sunday. So please watch everybody's videos. And again, I will leave everybody's channel down below in the description. And yes, I'll let you guys watch me do my application.
example, I turned on my other light because it was dead at first. Now I'm going in and filing. This is a Lazar hand file. I love these hand files. Everything I have a link to be linked to down below in the description. Um, and all I'm doing is making sure the nails are nice and coffin and they are nice and smooth because like I said, we are doing nail art. So you don't want to leave any ridges in them because it's just going to make the nail art even harder. I'm done going in with this bit. I went ahead and buffed the nails, then dusted them off and then wiped them down with some alcohol. Now I'm going in with my airbrush and I just mixed up um, a brown Savvy Land gel paint with some acetone. And these are vinyl um, stencils I made on the Cricut literally the day of. So I have never done this before with an airbrush, never done this before, period. So that is what it looked like. I ended up having to wipe that off later on because um, I got some of the purple on it and the purple comes later with the little purple egg and I spilled that on the thumb. So I ended up having to wipe it off. But all I'm doing is filling in the stencil or like doing the outline. And sometimes it takes three to four cycles of me just spraying it um, because it is a very light color and the brown is very dark if you've seen it before but you will have to clean up if you want it to be nice and crisp but airbrush is kind of that very diffused look so 
pigmentation is going to be very difficult to get period like you're gonna have to keep going over and over and over it but make sure you don't do it too much because the acetone will start to eat at your design that you have laid down already and if you really want to go like overboard to make sure your design does not get messed up let's say you're mixing more colors like how i spilled the the purple on the thumb um you would want to top coat your design first and then continue because when you just wipe off the nail um it comes off without any product needed like with a lint-free wipe if you wipe it off it will come off so be prepared for that i went ahead and changed out the solid for the outline because when you do the outline of like the stencil it goes ahead and fills it in but when you do like the solid it does that line so it's it's opposite and this was not very hard to do on my Cricut all I did was saved the pictures and then I uploaded it to Cricut and then I saved it as a cut after I removed the background and then I made it really really small like you might even want to make it smaller than this really um and then I cut it out with my Cricut and you don't have to do any um outlining in Cricut Design Space just make it a cut and that's it because your machine will automatically cut and here is how I mixed up the colors so just a little bit of polish really and then a lot of acetone but make sure you don't make it too watery or you'll have to be building and building and building for forever and then at some point it's just not gonna let you build it up anymore so yes I'm gonna let you watch and then I will be back when it comes to the next step of the design. So I am cleaning out in between um, each color with acetone just to make sure it's not making an in-between color because I don't think that that would look too good if I did an in-between color um, and it would take a long time for it to clean out the out of the machine versus you just push um acetone through not a ton of acetone just a little bit um maybe fill the cup up like a fourth of the way and then um let the acetone run through and then go ahead and pour your um color mixture in and then repeat the process and then at the end do a full-blown deep clean um with acetone and of course if you don't use all the color pour the color out first before you untwist the little um container because all it's going to do is pour the little gel polish mixture out everywhere and you might you just want to contain it really so pour it out on the little paper towel and then go ahead and put your acetone in and your next color So I'm pulling the decal off when it's the gel polish is still wet, not after I cure it, because it is a very messy like process once you do that because it cures to the actual nail and you have a hard time taking it off. But the reason why some people do it after is so you don't smudge the design. Here I am mixed up the purple and the purple was so pigmented. Um, it's like way more pigmented pigmented than the brown so just be very careful because each color is different even though it's still from savvy land i don't know why but that purple like literally stained everything so just be very very careful and for my final airbrush finger i'm doing my pinky and i'm trying to do an egg on the pinky but like i said my stencil was a little bit too big but that's okay
Now I fixed the thumb. I ended up changing it to a, just a solid instead of the outline um, because my other decals literally would not peel off. So I, I did which one I had um, stuck to the side already. So I'm just doing a full top coat and I'm going to cure it for a full 60 seconds. Now I'm going to apply my bling and I'm using the McCart Rhinestone Glue Gel and I go ahead and apply my top coat as well. I just make sure I don't smash down my um, rhinestone glue because it needs to be lifted up from the rest because it just makes it stick down much easier. On this first finger, I forgot to do it before, so I went ahead and did it after I applied all the stones, but I still didn't cure it yet. And here I am going in with these 3D flowers. They are perfect for spring. And um, I just kind of did a random design. And this bling is from LGN as well as um, Nail to the Hustle. And I'm gonna let you guys watch me apply my bling and then I will be back.
thought that the nails that just had the airbrush on it looked kind of like boring compared to the rest of the nails so i went ahead and i didn't necessarily add flowers on them but i did go ahead and add some bling and i am curing them in my big lamp for 30 seconds just to make sure the bling does not move and after this i will go ahead and apply my cuticle oil and then that will be the end of the video and i hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to like subscribe comment share me the bell everything i'm going to be linked to down below in the description um please go check out everybody else's channel that is a part of the collaboration and comment down below on their videos once they are created i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys tune into everyone's videos i'll see you guys in my next one bye